We are back in Bali. Our first time around was pretty magical and we're lucky enough to be here during the Galungan festivals, which basically celebrate the triumph of good over evil. Might be a late night for the kids, we'll see. We are currently in Ubud and we'll be exploring the city center. We'll walk to town, grab some lunch, explore a bit, then go try to see some monkeys. Later this evening, we'll try to catch the festivities nearby. We didn't get to see it last year, so I hope this year works out. Our adventure today starts here. Hey bud, you ready to go explore Ubud? Yeah. Sis, you ready to go explore Ubud? Yeah. Mommy, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go, baby. Oh, look at that lizard. <laughs> Where? Right there. Come here, guy. Oh, he left. He's right there. <laughs> That's a lizzie. Or maybe I'll doing it. Oh, what is that? Maybe sugar because maybe. the ants are eating it. I feel like I feel like it's a it's candy a watermelon. Daddy, there's ants all over it. Maybe, yeah, like a star fruit. What's a star fruit? You see how it's sort of if you turn there's it like this, it looks like a star. It. Yeah. Yeah. So it's called a star fruit. Yeah. Are there a star fruit tree here? I see one. Maybe somebody dropped it. Look, we're just gonna throw it over here in the compost pile. These stairs are fine going down, but they were no joke getting our luggage up here. Had to take a couple breaks. Watch your step. All over the thing Oh, that one hit sis. You okay? It also hit me. There's a lot of them falling. Is your arm okay, sis? No. Oh, it's just on the There must be, uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of them falling, and they're all over the steps now. Look. Hello. Since we were last year, which we were here a year ago, we saw a lot of people complaining that Bali has changed. And while that might be true in some areas, Ubud I don't think has changed that much in the past years. Actually, if anything, it's improved a little bit. The sidewalk infrastructure is about the same. It's kind of hard to get around. The traffic is really insane in the city center, which it was last year. But in some areas, it seems like they've tried to make some changes to relieve the congestion. But outside of the city center, it's just villages. It's not that crazy. It's not that busy. Yes, if you want to get from one place to another, just because of the way that the streets are made here, it's probably better to take a scooter, because if you take a car, there's lots of maneuvering by the drivers, and sometimes that can take a long time to get places. But if you come in with the right expectations, I don't think you would feel very overwhelmed, and it's still just magical here. It's beautiful. The culture is amazing, and the people are so friendly. You have the beautiful ornate decorations. You have the offerings that are everywhere, the statues. This area usually has a lot of congestion. It looks like they've made it so that there are no left turns up the hill during a certain period of time. As far as the crowdedness and the infrastructure, not a lot of that has changed, but I would say the cost of living has changed. Accommodation's quite a bit more expensive than when we were here last year. And it seems like the food pricing has gone up. Depends on what restaurant you go to. Maybe they had this last year, but there's like a 10 to 15% or sometimes even higher government tax or fee that's applied to the bill. And just in general, I think the food prices have increased. But overall, the cost of living is still affordable here. This time during our trip to Bali, we want to try some things that we didn't get to try last time or that we just didn't take the time to try last time. Like the big swings over the rice terraces here and actually going to the rice terraces. We didn't get to do those things last time. And we've got a trip coming up that I think is gonna be pretty amazing. We're gonna go stay a few nights at Mount Batur. So stick around so you can see those adventures. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along. And if you enjoy our videos, leave a like. We're gonna make our way and get some food. I'm not sure exactly which restaurant we're going to. We've picked out a few. We're gonna go eat some local Balinese food. The kids found a worm on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> That's scared. <laughs> I'm trying to pick it up. Oh, likes it. I'm gonna pick it up from that. Six of my. This is one of the entrances to get to the popular Kampuhan Ridge. It's a nice walk. It's it's not too strenuous, so you can go up there. You can walk along the ridge. We did that last time we were here. This little stretch is really cool to walk through. It's very shaded. There's lots of vines and trees on either side. 
that make it nice and cool. And this is one of the few areas that actually have a sidewalk. One of the more special things about Bali in general, but especially here in Ubud, is just how everything is nature-centered. The feng shui here, I've not experienced anywhere else in the world that we've been to. I'm sure there are other places, but Ubud is especially nature-driven. The houses are built to be mostly outdoor, and just everything about being here is health and wellness. And that's a lot to do with nature. And I really like that aspect of being here because the kids love it as well. We're making it more towards the center. You can see traffic starting to jam up here, at least for the cars. Like I mentioned on scooters, best way to get around here. There are lots of restaurants to choose from here but we want something local. So we're stopping here at Miro's Garden Restaurant. The last few days have been really hot. It's not as hot today, but it's still kind of hot. It's the upper 80s, might reach 90 today. That wasn't a hard walk, but it was a little far. We're all hot and sweaty now. We're gonna call off here at the restaurant, enjoy some lunch. Hello. All right, we're gonna sit inside where there are some fans. They're not on yet, but I'm sure they can turn them off for us. Oh, they got a table set up here of the offerings. All right, this is perfect. We're like directly underneath the fan. She turned it on for us. Nice cool breeze. Like most places, free Wi-Fi. Lots of people come out here. There are nomads and they need to work. So they'll come to a restaurant, hang out, do their work on the free Wi-Fi, enjoy their lunch. We're just here to eat some lunch and cool off though. Another thing that I didn't try the last time we were here was the nasi kampur. Went with me goreng a lot, nasi goreng. Today, I'm gonna go with the nasi kampur. What are you thinking, babe? I'm thinking to go with my traditional choices. Mi goreng or nasi goreng? goreng? yeah. But I'm still looking. Here, there's a ceremony around this time, this evening, where they do their offerings, and then there's also a dance, so we're excited to see that. Our drinks have arrived. What'd you guys order to drink? Um, a lemon iced tea. Yep. Try it out. It's so lemony, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What are you thinking, bud? All right, I've ordered a lemongrass tea, and Nicole's got her mineral water. No Diet Coke today, just mineral water. Nicole's actually cut back on her Diet Cokes a lot. I just need something cold and bubbly, so this sparkling water will be perfect. And, by the way, we got this free snack, and it's amazing. Okay. It's the peanuts? peanuts? but they just taste <laughs> so good. Right, our food has arrived. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. This is the nasi kampur. I've never had it. It's, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's like a little fritter here, some crackers, onions, maybe some the beans, and then there's these different salsas with some veggies. We got the chicken skewers. I think you just mix it all up and eat it together. I'm gonna ask. Nicole got her mi goreng. We got some pizza and some french fries for the kids, but they are also gonna try some of the Balinese food. Quick question, what's the best way to eat this? Uh, mix together. Just mix it all together? Yeah, because this is a nice time for me to mix together. Okay, so I just take this off, yeah. and then just dump everything yeah. into it? Okay, and then just mix it up and eat it. All right, chip. thank you. I want the chips. You can have the chips. There you have it. I will just mix it all up and eat it. It looks good though, it's nice and flavorful and some onions, garlic, some pepper. Oh man, it smells good. Got everything mixed up, and now I'm gonna try it. It smells so good. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. So many different flavors. It, is, it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Can't believe I've not tried this before. <coughs> It kind of reminds me a little bit of nasi lemak, which is Malaysian. Not quite as spicy, but all the different toppings, just different flavors, it's an explosion in, in your mouth. Mm. I'm gonna try my migoreng. Before ordering, I did ask if it comes with an egg on top, which influenced my decision to get it. There is no egg, so we'll try it out. Oh my gosh, my... Dry, which was why I like the fried egg on top. But other than that, it's pretty good. 
We've got a lot of food here. We're gonna sit here and enjoy. It's cooled off quite a bit. And then we're gonna make our way into Ubu. Oh, that was a really nice restaurant. A really nice lunch. The kids ended up liking Nicole's mi garang. <laughs> so they shared that with her. And Nicole actually tried the nasi campur and she really enjoyed that. I'm definitely gonna be having some more of that. While we're here in Bali, I'm glad I tried it out. Now we're gonna make our way over and get some dessert. Looks like school just let out. We're getting closer and closer to the center. Ubud Palace is up here on the left. Now you can see how the traffic starts to really pile up here. But like I mentioned, it's just certain areas that get super congested like this and getting around on a scooter is gonna be your best bet. But if you come in with the right expectations, you can actually avoid all of this and just stay out of the center. Otherwise, if you wanna check it out, you can walk around pretty easily. You just gotta be careful. This area has lots of restaurants, lots of spas, lots of shops and souvenirs that you can buy. There's also the art market nearby, which we'll check out here in just a little bit. We usually try to stick to local restaurants and eateries, but we're heading over to a chain now for dessert. We're now crossing by the Ubud Palace, which is a popular spot. It's always crowded here. So what happens is starting here, going this way is one-way traffic. And in order to come back this way, you have to go all the way down and around. And then this street coming this way is one-way traffic. So I think they've done that to try to relieve some congestion, but there's always a lot of traffic in this area. Here we are at the art market. We came here last year. Oh, they got some kites up there still. Came here last year when we were learning how to fly a kite or trying to learn how to fly a kite. If you guys haven't seen that video, you can go watch it. It was a lot of fun. A few weeks ago, or maybe a month or more ago, the art market actually caught fire. I don't think it was this building, it was in the next one. But now all of the vendors have their tents set up outside on the sidewalk, and they're selling things out here. Mix you. Hello. All right, tell me what you want. Chocolate sauce and vanilla no, no food. Uh, mango smoothie, please. Yeah. I found it's about 50-50 if there's seating available or not. Right now there's not. I think the kids just got out. They came in and get some ice cream, so all the tables were full. I think we'll be standing and eating at the counter on this one. The kids like the mix you show. There are your Sundays, guys. I'm just waiting on my mango smoothie. A table did open up, so we're going to have a little table to share and enjoy our dessert here at mix you. Some, uh, how is it, guys? Yummy? Enjoy. Good? Uh, love me some mixed you. Mixed you is all over Southeast Asia. We've had it when we were in Thailand, uh, when we were in, I think, Vietnam. They've, it's all over the place. It's a huge chain, 20,000 stores. And they got some good ice cream. And for all of us, it was like five bucks for dessert. So we're going to go check out some of the art market. They have not only the art market here, which has a lot of stalls, there's a lot of stuff that you can browse through and purchase. They also have an actual street that's all lined up with vendors as well. It's a little bit more down that way. We passed it a little, a little earlier, but it's also a cool spot to go check out. <laughs> this whole building is full of vendors as well, like I mentioned earlier. This over here caught fire, so all the vendors are out front here. So usually this is inside, but it feels real nice. It's got that market vibe here. And as with most markets, you can negotiate. So they'll probably start out a little high. You can bargain to get the price lower. What'd they say, sis? She started at 80 and she barked in for 50. 50? I'm gonna for try what? To go with her. You're going to go bargain with her? What is it? It's, we both want the tiny little cool frog. So she wants 50 for one? Take it. You get 50 for both of you. See if you can bargain with what you got. The kids found some little animals that they want to get. They're going to go bargain with the vendor. This really wanted this. You want this? Okay, I want this one. So, can I pay actually okay. Can I pay 50 for two? No, for that one. This the gecko I do because this little bit bigger. Cannot. I don't know. Like this too, I do for the fifty, but this cannot. Oh, I love yellow. You want yellow, the blue? I love yellow. This 
Hmm? So you got the yellow and the blue geckos? Yeah, yellow's my favorite color, and look at the paw. All right, what do you say? <laughs> Six to the Six to the Well, we bargained so for 50 for two. We thought two for the frogs, but we got yeah, we were two trying geckos. To get, we were trying to get uh, two frogs for 50, yeah, but, but it didn't work out, so we got two geckos instead. All right, cool. Maybe I'll name this one lose you. I'm still thinking for this one. All right, let's go check out some more. We're pretty close to the Ubud monkey forest, and it's always fun to see the monkeys. I don't know if we're actually going to go into the park. We'll see, but we're going to make our way over. It's not too far from here. Daddy, when he gets hot, he does like this. Then, oh, it's a girl. That's it's a girl. She does like this, and she gets cold. Yeah. And she can make babies. When she makes babies, <laughs> she does like this. OK. Watch Look. your head. Watch your head. That's what she does to make she babies? All right. <laughs> There's this parking lot here on the way to the monkey forest. It's always full of scooters. We came to this fish spa last year and we actually brought the kids back here uh, earlier in the week. They got their feet sucked on by some fish. We're going to see how much their foot massages are here. 80 for 30. 80 for 30. So more, for more than half, half yeah. It's about 20 bucks for all four of us to get a 30 minute foot massage. Nicole had found another place that's a bit cheaper and you get it for an hour long, but we don't really need an hour. I don't know, we haven't decided if we're gonna do it yet. You guys wanna do a foot massage? Yeah, better than a monkey's. You wanna do it? Yep. Do you have space for four of us? Yes. Uh, all right, all right. the kids really wanna do it and it's not that expensive, so we're gonna go get our feet massaged. Take our shoes off, put some slippers on. There you go, buddy. You excited, sis? Oh, yeah, plenty of space. Oh, my. You guys ready? Yeah. Last time we got a family foot massage was in Malaysia when we visited Ginting Highlands, which was back in January. So we're excited to get a family foot massage. Ready, sis? OK. Now we have to be quiet. Oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, I That was fabulous. <laughs> the kids did okay. They got ticklish a couple of times, but that was really, really nice. Definitely worth it. I'm glad we stopped in. 30 minutes later, my feet feel very refreshed. After a day of walking in the heat, nothing better than a good foot massage. The guy next to me actually fell asleep and was snoring, but <laughs> that's how good it was. What'd you think, babe? I think it was very relaxing, but next time, I'm definitely going for a neck and shoulder massage because those last like 30 seconds, we're way more amazing than those 30 minutes. <laughs> I agree. It's time for a full body massage. On Saturday, I'll book us one. All right. Quick little detour for our foot massage. Now we're going to go find some monkeys. We're not down quite far enough yet, but occasionally you can see monkeys on the roofs. I think we got to make our way down a little bit more. There he is, crossing the street. That's a cool fan. Uh, 50? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I literally almost walked into his pee. Right, we saw a couple just climbing on the power lines. One was on top of a sign and almost peed on me. Actually, he might have peed on me a little bit, but whatever. We're getting closer to the monkey forest, and then we're going to see a lot of monkeys. <laughs> Oh, they're like little birds. Oh, oh, oh! Did they have a nest in the basket? Oh, in the tree? Oh, right there. 
Oh, there's that monkey right above me again. Thank you. You guys understand what happened? Yeah, there was a nest and it fell and the, the birdie died. Yeah, and he was trying to help them. Something else really cool about Bali, or at least what I found fascinating is, just beyond the street is usually a hidden paradise. Just a few feet off of the main street, behind the ornate walls, there's usually a compound or some sort of rice terrace or just something that would blow your mind if you walked maybe 50 or 100 feet off the sidewalk. You see one? Uh, so I spotted a couple monkeys. They're just hanging out. Something that you have to kind of be careful with are the little offerings that they place out. A lot of times they'll just be on the sidewalk. I just stepped on one accidentally. Wasn't really paying attention to where I was going. I kind of put them everywhere. You'll find them on the sidewalk. You'll find them on people's scooters. You'll find them outside people's homes, outside people's businesses. They're offerings to bring forth blessings. The majority of the population in Indonesia is Muslim. It's one of the largest Muslim populated countries in the world. But here in Bali, the primary religion is Hindu. And that's part of, in my opinion, what makes the place so special. It's just part of the culture and the belief system here. You guys found a monkey down here? Oh, that's not a real monkey. All right, we are getting closer to the monkey forest. So the monkeys are gonna become more plentiful. And so is the crowd. Where? On the sidewalk. Oh, there's one just hanging out on the sidewalk up here. Oh, he saw the dog coming through. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, the dog doesn't like him, I don't think. We've reached the backside of the monkey forest. You can see monkeys inside there. Oh, he's right above us. Careful. This dog's been following us for a while. I don't know if he's here to protect us or what's going on, but he's just hanging out with us. There's a big boy over here. There's another one here. I think we're good if the dog's here. He's sucking on a pacifier. Oh, oh, it's like you, baby. The dog's back. It's like a war for the territory here. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. What is he doing? All right, we've made it over to at least the motorbike entrance of the sanctuary. We've debated going in. It's 16 bucks per person, so we're around a little over $60 for all of us again. Not terrible, but you just go in, you walk around, you get it up close and personal with the monkeys, but we can do that out here for free. So I think this is one thing that we're gonna pass on again while we're here in Ubud. We've made our way over to the pedestrian entrance. I think they've added this little booth. I don't think this was here last time. So there's the monkeys everywhere. A couple over there mating, all in the trees. What do you think about the fish? They're great. They're great. Oh, Goldie! We've made it back to the stairs. We grabbed a car from the monkey forest to bring us home. It took like 15 minutes. We're gonna rest up for an hour or so, and then we are going to take a lovely walk and catch the dance for the ceremony this evening. We'll bring you guys along with us, so stay tuned. All right, it's about that time. Sun's starting to set. We're gonna make our way over and try to catch the ceremony dance. There might be another little parade this evening. I'm not sure, they had one last night where they came to the water temple and got the holy water and took it back. We didn't get the chance to see the dance last year, so hopefully we'll make it in time to see it this year. Uh, we just ran into our Airbnb host from last year, Booty. Hey, Booty. 
He'll be dancing in the ceremony, I think. Here you see some people going to the ceremony. Some guys preparing for the ceremony. Four different five of them. Start with the, the little girls in your group, in your age. What time do you start? Around 7? Seven? Yeah, 7, 7.30? Okay, cool. Might be a late night for the kids, we'll see. Bye, Booty! <laughs> All right, come on, guys. So Booty told us that there's actually nothing going on right now. The events don't start until 7, 7.30. So that's what time the kids usually go to bed. We're gonna go over and check it out, see what's going on, but I don't know if we'll get to see the dances or not. There's a couple vendors set up with some street food. I might grab a bite to eat. Oh, they're definitely getting prepared. Nothing going on yet. The kids are over here just hanging out. I think they will be dancing first. We'll see. I've been informed by a couple different people that the event is going to start in an hour, hour and a half from now. And unfortunately, in order to actually to get in and see the dance performances, you need a sarong. The kids would be okay because it's okay for the kids, but Nicole and I would both need a sarong and neither one of us have one. So we might be able to see something from just standing on the street, but I'm not sure. Booty's all set up. Say hey, Booty. So you think we'll be all right though just to watch from the street? Yeah, yeah. Without the sarong? Uh, yeah, like on the street because it's an uh, outside area. Oh, okay. Will we see the dance? Yeah, you will see me tonight. <laughs> all right, Booty. Well, Thank you. We've decided we're going to try to attend the dance ceremony because our friend Booty told us that we should be okay and he's going to be in the performance and he said it's outside. So if he tells us that that's how it's going to be, we're going to believe him and believe that we're going to be okay without having sarong. So we're going to go grab a quick drink try to cool off a little bit, it's very humid, and then we're gonna go make our way over and see if we can catch the ceremony. We made it. We don't have a great spot, but at least we get to be part of the experience. There's the music, everyone's decked out in their sarongs. There's a whole group over here that don't have sarongs. We're all sitting on the other side of the street just to scope out the ceremony. This is really cool and pretty special, I think. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think about it? It's past your bedtime. Are you tired? I'm tired and I really want the dance to start. Now. Tired and you want the dance to start? Well, yeah. you guys voted to stick around, so we'll see how Sawyer holds out. He's looking a little sleepy. <laughs> Kids are starting to dance now. We're playing spot booty. This one. Where's he at? You see him? Yeah, this one right there. Oh the yeah. One with the phone. Right there? The second one. Yeah, the one. The one. I see, yeah. Booty. There he is. <laughs> inside the temple so we won't get to see anymore. I'm glad this worked out. We had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.